Trucker fam. I can't believe it's been a year. That's, I mean, it's almost been a year. Yeah, that's what we're coming up to. We're coming up to a year. So that's what we're going to talk about today is, is it the New Mexico song? Yo, I'm like, right. Anyways, we're going to talk about the first year, struggles of the first year. Can't believe it's been a freaking year. So get excited. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. God, so when I started, kiss my face. There we go. So when I started trucking over, over a year, almost a year ago, I'm just going to say a year. We're, we're close enough. We're basically there. When we, when Charlie and I started school, I thought I had everything figured out. I thought I knew exactly what it was going to be like. I prepared myself the best I could. And it was, there's no way you can really prepare yourself for the lifestyle change of a trucker. That was definitely a struggle. So that was the first struggle is the lifestyle change. I didn't expect it to be so drastic. I thought I would be able to work out all the time. And I thought it would be this. And it's not. But it's also not bad. I really do enjoy it. And it's crazy to think it's been a year. Home time. Spending um, time with home, family, if I can make sense of my life and words. Home time is a struggle. Um, that's, that's definitely a struggle. Learning to get past the homesickness. Homesickness is definitely something that took, I would say, probably like three months or so. It took about three months to kind of like adjust, I guess, adjustment phase. And then it gets easier. And then you just make the best of home time that you can. You make a lot of friends, though. I know Charlie and I, um, I'm not going to talk all about the struggles because there's so much more to trucking than just the struggles. There's so many experiences that you get to have with trucking that you don't get to have with a regular job. The views alone are freaking ridiculous. Like, I'm in Arizona right now, like, 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 I sound like a type of thing. I'm in Arizona right now, and the views alone are just ridiculous. Like, when you're going from anywhere, if you're going, like, on a Cali run from North Carolina to California, it's, it's breathtaking. I'm definitely, a totally, definitely, totally, I'm totally radical man. Anyways, I'm a totally different person than I was a year ago trucking, whether you're doing it with someone or you're not, gives you a lot of time just sitting there driving, staring at the road, and you're kind of stuck with yourself. And I used to care so much about what people thought. I mean, I still care about, like, myself and how I like to look. And aside from all that, like, I cared so much about what other people thought of me. And, like, and, like, if I say, like, one more time, that's worse than, um, I care a lot less about what people think of me now and I focus more on what I want out of life and what is going to make me happy and focusing on that. I'm in a much better place than I was a year ago or two years ago. Definitely for sure. For sure. And I think that's really important actually like knowing who I am as a person and as what trucking has given to me. But let's talk more about the progression of this year. The first three months were super hard. Charlie and I about killed each other. Um, but throughout the year, it's a progression. Struggles are like learning like who to talk to and who you can and can make friends with and like the struggles of flatbed versus van. Alright, so let's go back onto that progression. First three months, struggle. Charlie and I almost killed each other. It was great. You get into that six months, and you're kind of a little bit more relaxed. Everything comes to you a little bit easier. You're getting more and more miles. You're learning more things, and it's, it's a lot less stress because you kind of already know what to expect. Now, talking about being relaxed, it doesn't mean you should be so relaxed that you don't respect your load, especially your flat bedding. Always respect your load. Never, never take it for granted. Definitely just respect the load. Don't take things too fast. There's no need for it. You're going to get there. No load is more important than your life. That's for sure. Then you get to nine months, and kind of, I'm kind of figuring out like where I actually want to be in like a year. And now that I'm actually like understanding trucking, I know where I can be realistically and where I can't be. Whereas like a year ago, when I first started, like I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be here in this amount of time, and I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna make this kind of money. But once you actually get to one year, you start to see things for what they are, and that's a really awesome thing. And it's really exciting. Never saw myself becoming a trucker. It's 
kind of the opposite of my personality. If anyone anyone knows me, you, you know me. Um, you know, this is something I definitely never thought I was going to do. I grew up doing, I grew up competing in pageants for fun. And that taught me a lot as far as, like, confidence and personality and, like, being able to talk to people and not being afraid of it, which I really appreciate. And then after high school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And eventually, I started cosmetology school. And so that's what I thought I was going to do with the rest of my life. And I was super excited, but I love doing hair. And I still do it when I go home because I still have my license. And I absolutely love it. And that's a long-term goal of mine is one day when I have a local job that I can do hair on Saturdays at the Merle Norman Salon. But I got to a point where I was doing cosmetology. I was working at the Merle Norman Salon. I was serving and I was um, working at another place um, for a third job at a restaurant that was near Merle Norman. And I was working three jobs and I was barely saving money, but I was paying all my bills and that was cool and everything, but I just wasn't saving and I wasn't where I thought I was going to be. And I sat, sat down one day and I was like, this is not, this is not working. Um, as much as I would like it to, it's not going as fast as I guess I would like it to. And I was, I sat down and then decided this is what I wanted to do. I was going to, I was going to give it a shot because I'm crazy. Um, and then it just, dang it, I said, um, and then it just turned out luckily and coincidentally that Charlie was having the same thought process and we decided to go on this crazy freaking adventure together. A year can change you more than you think it would. I'm just really glad that we've gotten here and proud that we stuck with it. And to anyone who is out there thinking, is this something that I could do or I could possibly do, you can definitely do it. Coming from someone who is a little on the girlier side and who couldn't drive a stick before I started this career, it's definitely something you can do. It's not easy at first, but if you're willing to put in the effort and put in the time and put in the work, you can get there. Something you can, it, uh, it's definitely something that is possible. And you only have to go to school for three weeks. That's what, that's the train of thought that I lost. It's something that you can make decent money after six months. You only have to go to school for three weeks. It's just, if you're willing to absorb the information, put the time and effort, you can get there. So I would definitely suggest it. If you're like me and you don't know what you want to do, and working like this is something that might appeal to you because we're crazy you were crazy if you want to do this job in my opinion but that is it guys i know i kind of went off on some random rant sorry about that um that's kind of what videos are sometimes but that is my first year of trucking a whole jumbled mess of different experiences and so I will I want my lid I guess I'm drinking the rest of this monster I will catch y'all next time trucker fam I hope everyone is having a safe drive having a good day get to where we're going consigning shipper whatever oh this look like crazy guys yeah I'm almost at the end of my day I'm getting a little tired but hope y'all have a great day I will catch y'all next video I think I'm doing I think I'm uh, I'm thinking about doing a workout video so y'all are gonna see my crazy butt outside running around with chains I'm gonna talk to um, a good friend of mine that owns a gym and I'll make sure y'all find out who he is if he wants to collaborate with me I'll let you know I saw see you oh see y'all next time but I want to show you my, my boots look I got cowgirl boots these are the first time I ever bought some cowgirl boots I'm from North Carolina you think I'd own cowgirl boots but these are my first ones bye trucker fam bye. Bye.